Uh, welcome to the technical support. Uh, today we have here, uh, this one is the T8 model actually. Uh, actually the T8, uh, T8 IV or T9, the function wise and the sensor all same. This one the customer sent to my house actually for uh, that uh, giving anti-drop sensor error. But the customer actually they tried to fix uh, themselves at home first uh, through my video. And uh, they already replaced left and right uh, side anti-drop sensor. But still uh, it was giving error, uh, please uh, clean my anti-drop sensor, something like this type. So that's why they sent the Debo to my house because I suspect maybe it's a bumper sensor issue or maybe it's a hitch horn sensor, the top cover sensor or maybe possibly the front anti-drop sensor because the front anti-drop sensor I think the customer couldn't find online so that's why they bring over here. But I didn't inform my son that what is the problem. I just give my son that test why the giving is sensor error. So he also followed my videos and he first of all check, check the left side and drop sensor and uh, he informed me that papa everything is all looks okay physically also with camera he tested looks okay and the right side also he you can see the he take out from the big box and he informed me that the papa the left and right side uh, sensors all okay the front one uh, i don't know how to check so you help me so then I informed him that actually the customer left and right already replaced new one. But I forget to inform you. But uh, the physically I checked actually is the bumper also looks okay. I don't think so. It's a bumper issue. Because all the wires, everything is uh, normal. No error. The wire not broken from anywhere. Or oh, there's no rust sign here. And here also the both wires connected perfectly and it's not broken from here. And the other thing is, uh, the, we can suspect maybe this part. If this part is very dirty or got rust sign here, then we can understand that maybe there is uh, inside also water going and this sensor can be faulty. So this wire, the black one, this one can be faulty. But this one is a very clean D-boat. You can see here, there's not even a dust over here. Rust is not the rust. There's not even a single dust sign I can see. There's no scratch. It's very clean unit. So then, okay, I inform my son that what is the reason I show you. Then I just open this wire. Okay, this is actually is, uh, for all customers and all d -boards. The front sensor, if left and right, you check already and uh, it, there is uh, nothing wrong with the left and right sensor or you replace left and right sensor already, still it's giving error. Then I'll let you know that what could be the reason. Be careful. This, the front wire, the sensor, actually the wires, the front one is very fragile one. And you can see here, just only when I take out this wire, it was like that actually. So I just showed to my son, when I take out this wire, you see my son, this wire is very fragile. Just come out from here. Because it just disconnected from here. And I will just only peel off from here and peel off from here and solder. I already turn on the solder. So after that I will just solder back this one here like that and then just put it back here will be everything normal. So this is I mean I'm not going to change any part just I need to check the wirings anything broken on because I confidence uh, just so uh, I almost I think more than 1000 D boards uh, I repaired in my life more than 1000 is I think more than around 2000 D boards I repaired already in my life which I if I'm not wrong. So that's why I confident that just only this wire broken. That is the reason the debut was giving error. I'm not sure whether the wire when the customer was testing at that time broken or how, but only this wire. The rest all I check already. From here I see like this. I can pull up slightly from here and can see whether this wire can disconnect or not. But physically I can see only we can turn like this whether this one broken from here or not. We can understand like this. We can check from here. This one also is connected, there is nothing wrong, but this wire was like that actually. And this side I show you here, this one is connected firm, this one also connection, no issue. When we touch the wire we can understand, if the wire is very loose and just turn with your finger, it means that the wire is broken already from here. Just only uh, empty cover is here, that's why it easily can turn. So only this wire is broken physically. So we will just solder back this wire and after that will be okay. So hopefully you like this uh, a small tip in this video. And uh, hopefully you can solve this minor issue. It's not actually, it looks like minor issue. 
but just because this small wire was broken you cannot use your depot so you have to check all the wirings whether the wirings damage or not and uh, then uh, we'll solve your issue like this at home so thanks for watching this video thank you very much and thanks for your support and today i think i crossed the 90 93,000 subscribers already today so hopefully you like this video and the more subscribers will come up so thanks for watching video thank you very much